Hey guys, I'm back with my empties for December and January. The only reason I'm not, I didn't do it for all of December is because I didn't have enough. So, for Jan I just combined the two. Hopefully that's alright. And I'll just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with candles first because I've got quite a few. Sorry. I'm trying to get them out of the bag. Let's just tip. There we go. That's a little bit better. Sorry if that was loud though, because I do not know. Right. The last one, there we go. So I used up four big candles and a mini. The first one is the champagne toast candle, and it says pop, clink, and sparkle with an effervescent blend of champagne, juicy, juicy nectarine, and black currant. And I did really like this one a lot. I'm actually going to depot this and keep it. The next one is Cinnamon Caramel Swirl, which it doesn't have the sticker on it because I actually, I do like Pink Sparkles does. I'll peel the label off and write something about it, so that's why there's no label on this one. And the description says, the ultimate blend of creamy caramel, cinnamon, and sweet vanilla creates the most delectable fragrance treat. And this one actually burned kind of weird. If you can see that. But it was a good scent. I would get this one again. Same with the champagne toast. I'd get both of those again. Because they both filled up the whole room. And they were... They filled the whole room. They had a really good throw to them. So... I mean, they were, they were really good. This one, however... I explained in my what I got for Christmas that I would not repurchase this one, and this is the sea salt and maple popcorn candle. And again, the label's off most of it because I put it in the journal. And this one says, sweet Vermont maple and just the right dash of sea salt make light, fluffy, and perfectly crunchy corn absolutely irresistible. And I did like it, like I said in that video. I did like it. It has a good throw, but sometimes it would get so overpowering that it would make everybody in my family cough. And it would give me headache if I had it for too long. So I wouldn't get this one again, even though I did like it. And the last one is Merry Cookie. I love the lid to this one. It says Made with Love. And it's got the bottle cap thing. Anyway says, a bowl of cookie dough made from the very finest ingredients was the inspiration for this simply magical holiday scent. Pure vanilla, butter, and sugar. This one burned kind of funny too with the way the wick is, but... This is like one of my staples for, throughout the holidays, so this is one that I will definitely get again. Let's set that over here. We'll go ahead and go through the little bag of mini stuff. First thing is this chapstick in cake batter. Now I put this in here even though technically it's not used up because when I went to actually put it on last night it broke off. So that kind of stunk but I liked it while I had it and I would get this scent again because it's probably one of my favorites the chapstick has come out with. Here's the bag of minis. We'll go through it. First thing I used up was this sample of the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream in Light Medium. And I really did like this BB Cream. I actually have the other one, the original, because it has sunscreen in it and because of medical reasons I need the sunscreen more than the acne treatment. So I did get one of the BB cream is just not this one, but I do like it enough. It tones the redness down in my face a lot. And here's the little mini candle. This was Vanilla Snowflake. This was really good. Let's see the description. A bright and joyful blend of sweet vanilla, peppermint, and icy mint that captures the fun adventures of a snow-filled day. And I got this for a dollar at the semi-annual sale, so... But I would get this one again. This one and Merry Cookie are like my two staples for winter, so. Okay. I used up 
a pocket back in Vanilla Bean Noel. And I actually love this scent. I have the lotion up here, if you can see that. Then I have a backup of it, and I have one of these off of my purse right now. So I do love this scent a lot, and I still have half of the candle, I think. I think half. Maybe two thirds, but I'm pretty sure half. Do I have the more flower for that in here? Yes, I do. I have the Vanilla Bean Noel wallflower now. As you can see, there's still some in it. But the plug itself actually burnt it, if you can see. So, I didn't want to risk fire hazard, so I got this out of the wallflower and just said, you know what, it's time to get rid of it. Because it still smells like it, it just wasn't permeating the room or filling the room as it was had been because it had gotten burnt so I would get this scent again I, would, I just don't I uh, would have to just be careful with it because I don't want that happening again <laughs> I think there's another wallflower in here too yeah there's two actually one and two I used up vanilla snowflake this one was in my room. The Vanilla Bean Noel one was actually in the hallway. But this one smelled just as great as the candle and would definitely get this one again. And then the last one is Warm Vanilla Sugar. For some reason this one stopped going as well and when I saw that the tip was getting a little bit pink I decided yeah I don't want to have that. What happened to the Vanilla Bean Noel happened to this one so but it was good while I had it. I had, because the way that I'd had the trio going was this one was in the kitchen, Vanilla Snowflake was in my room, and then I think, like I said, the Vanilla Bean Noel was in the hallway, so it was all vanilla going through the house. And you'd think that would have got been overpowering, but it really wasn't. Right now, Twisted Peppermint is in the kitchen, Mahogany Teakwood is in the hallway, and then Cinnamon Frosting is in my room. So we usually have three going at all times. Okay. Another chapstick I used up. This is the Lip Smacker Shimmer in Vanilla Ice. Sorry about the light being glare. But it had sparkle to it. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yeah, it did. It had sparkle to it. You can see it is flush so I can't get any more out of it, but it was good while I had it. I probably wouldn't get it again though because it wasn't that moisturizing. I mean it was just one of those oh let's have glitter on the lips for a fun day out kind of thing. It wasn't like oh this is my lips are really dry I really need this. So. And then the last in these little in this bag of minis is my fiance had actually gotten me this at TJ Maxx, and it was a mini set of the Shea scent from the Body Shop. And the shower cream I wasn't that big of a fan of. It smelled off in the shower, but that could have just been me at the time. And I mean, it was moisturizing enough, but I just wouldn't get this again. Now, the sugar scrub, I would get again. This was... A nice thick still smells like it exfoliant you can't really see it now cuz I didn't save any of it in there but it was good it really helped right here on me because I'm really dry right here and that actually helped for right there and then the body butter this great sides of this too was really thick I don't know if you guys have ever had like butter that when you put your knife in it kind of just chips away that's what this did when I went to, to get some out of it, which some people might find that weird, but I actually kind of liked it because I like thicker lotions for, again, right here, and then, like, my legs and stuff, so I would get this again, and in fact, I actually have this in the Ginger Sparkle scent, I believe. I showed it in my What I Got For Christmas video. I can link that below for you guys. And I have, as usual, some vitamins I used up. Calcium. I take this every night. You guys know the reason if you watched my first one. 
my first product to use up and then fish oil as well and again you guys know the reason if you've been following me for a while so used up more of those and if you guys don't want the vitamins in there just comment below and let me know and I want and I won't put those in there anymore I just I didn't know if you guys would find that interesting or not so I'll keep doing it but if you guys comment below and tell me to stop then I won't put those in there anymore okay I used up a Garnier Fructis triple nutrition shampoo for dry damaged hair really liked this a lot I liked the smell of this one a lot better this was trying to see oh it's just got three oils avocado olive and almond So, and what I like about Garnier Fruit Teas, it just says on the back, bottle contains 30% recycled plastic made of the most widely, re most widely recycled plastic. So, I like that because I want to help in ways that I can for stuff like that. So, but yeah, I would get this again, but I'm right now I'm using the Head and Shoulders Dry Scalp Care. Is because I've been like flaking like nuts, so it's a winter, so Ugh. sorry, I had to shift. I used up a Simmer's Eve Morning Paradise Cleansing Wash. I've mentioned this before, so I don't think I should, I don't think I need to say what it's for. So, and I, I will inevitably get this again. I have it in the purple bottle right now, which I think is like Delicate Paradise or something delicate wash this one is morning paradise so and I did like the scent of that one okay I have a caress evenly gorgeous burnt brown sugar and carrot butter exfoliating body wash I love the scent of this it just took forever to get through because of because of how much is in it I'm sorry I was making I was wondering if you still had the smell um I would get it again. It would just be one of those things that it would have to be like the only thing I'm using in the shower as far as exfoliating goes before I would get it again because this I had in there with, I think it was this, and because I reached for this more than this, it took forever to use up. Like this lasted me five or six different showers and then while well, this was right here and then I had to use the rest of it so it took a minute but I would get it again I like the scent of it Stay. of course this comes as no surprise considering how many I used up the candle lighter because of how many candles I went through this past time it's no surprise that I've used up one of these Three more things and then we are done. First thing is the Aussie Awesome Volume Conditioner. Did not like this whatsoever. It was way too thin, too watery. I like conditioners that are thicker, that I know can sit in my hair and actually do something. This I felt like just ran out, ran off of my hair the second I had my hair under the water, but the scent of it wasn't bad. Yeah, the scent of it itself wasn't bad, but I just wouldn't get this again at all. We still have the shampoo in there, but I'm not a fan of it either. I used up a sec sec uh, excuse me, Secret Scent Expressions Cocoa Butter Kiss Deodorant. I was glad to have used this up because, honestly, the scent got tiring after a while because I had gotten it in the summer and I thought, oh, cocoa butter would remind me of summer, but I didn't finish this up until now when I'm wanting scents that are like this and then like the Merry Cookie and stuff like that. So, yeah, I would only get this at the beginning of summer so I know I can use it up throughout summer and not have it until, you know, December, January of next year. And then the last thing is the soft soap hand soap is it 
it says wash away bacteria. I like this. We always get this because it's cheap, so it's inevitable that this will be purchased again. And that is it for my empties, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you again next time. Bye.